Hey folks, Father Sympathy from CG Virus here. Uh, today we're going to see how to make some tileable texture uh, from a photo uh, into some PBR textures like albedo and height map, etc. etc. And uh, uh, first of all, this is not a tutorial, uh, this is a note group I was making for my studio, and uh, we're going just going to demo it. Alright, so it's a part of our research. and. Um, yeah, you can uh, work with it uh, in your free time. Uh, don't expect uh, to be it to be a professional thing because it's uh, you know some kind of research here. So yeah, so let's see how we can do it. Uh, first of all, what you need to do is basically you need to download this uh, add-on, Auto Reload Blender add-on. Uh, I will give it in the link uh, in the description. So. Um, uh, you know, j uh, just as you will download it and uh, install it, uh, what it uh, does, uh, you will see uh, the demo here. It actually, uh, you know, update auto reload uh, the image textures. Okay, and then uh, you can download our node setup here. And uh, let's download the zip here. There we go. And uh, here you will find the zip file so you can extract it and then again extract it here so you will get these two thing uh, it's a texture folder and uh, it's a photo to pbr blend file so now we can do what we can do is basically we can fire up blender and let's go to here and just load it here open so this is our node setup uh, you can um, convert uh, the diffuse map to albedo, height, normal, roughness, metallic, AO, and cavity, and curvature. Okay, so all in one. So uh, let's um, um, start working with it. So I'm come back. Okay, so we are going to uh, work with this guy. Uh, it is from Pixabay. You can download it from there, and. Uh, um we're going to make it tell tellable okay so what we need to do is basically go there let's go to image editor here and uh, let's drag it here okay the stone okay so now let's go to the texture slot and uh, let's go to the brush and let's create a texture and i'm going to open it here so probably it is stone or something yeah stone okay all right so <coughs> now let's go here and we're going to start working with it so let's create a um, new file I'm going to name it diffuse tile so it will be a tileable texture and I'm going to give it two cube resolution and other things are fine okay so now let's go to here in tool sorry let's go in paint press t and press n let's go to tool and uh, this is our paint tool draw tool actually and let's go to the texture and select this texture we're going for mapping we're going for stencil uh, let's go to image aspect click it and it will be there okay from this we are, uh, we are going to select some uh, you know region here so press control and uh, uh, sorry not this way um, shift and right click okay and uh, select uh, region we want to work with somewhere here I think this will be good okay press F press N and uh, go here and strength should be 1 here we go so now let's draw it Now what we want to do is basically 
we want to create a tileable texture right so what you can do is basically go to the view and uh, go to repeat image so now you can see that it is not tileable so we're going to make it tileable so we are in uh, paint mode and in stencil so what we can do is basically we can go to the tool go here tiling and press X and press Y okay so now we can make some tileable texture here uh, press F to you know load opposite uh, you know radius and uh, let's take this and let's do something like this okay and uh, now let's go here and uh, let's do something like this okay hmm. so now we're going to select uh, some random spot and uh, we're going for So here you can see that uh, there are some patterns like this black, 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 black. So what we can do is basically um, we can select some of this black and uh, we can convert it with some common setup here, something like this. So the pattern will not be obvious. So, suppose this is our uh, part here, and uh, you can you can tile it all along. But yeah, so let's get to let's get started with the other things, and I'm going back. All right, so now it's time to save the image. So I'm going to view and uh, repeat image off. So this will be our tileable texture, and uh, now let's go to image, save as and uh, let's go to desktop in our master and photo to pbr and this is the texture so i'm going to name it diffuse style png rgb channel and uh, everything is fine so let's save as okay done so let's go to the view press in now let's load this texture to diffuse in our compositor here this is the diffuse sort and uh, let's go to open <coughs> <coughs> and here it is I'm going to check relative path here okay let's select it here okay so that's it and uh, press ctrl shift to see the diffuse and uh, go to the viewer note yeah there we go okay so now we're going to start working with it now before everything else uh, what you need to do uh, is uh, that we downloaded these uh, auto reload and uh, what we're going to do is basically go to the scene file and here is your auto reload image okay so let's check it in the timer okay so uh, the timer will uh, you know update the images uh, in one second interval so uh, pretty good okay so now let's start working with the albedo so what is albedo albedo is basically the colors uh, minus the shadow and light okay so we're going to create that go here and enable the switch okay now already you can see some weird stuff going on so let's go to saturation to one here yeah. And now what we're going to do is basically light cancellation. So let's go to zero. Yeah. So what it does is basically cancel uh, all the lights here. Okay. So let's zero all of them here. Okay. So light cancellation, uh, you can increase it to cancel the light. Okay so somewhere here will be good and uh, 
now there is crevices cancellation the crevices are you know the shadow parts here so what you can do is basically go here increase it and you will see that the crevices will be gone okay but let's not do it uh, you know super intensive so I'm um, I don't know something like that will be good so I'm using 9 here so if I go to 0 you can see the difference so this was this and uh, the 9 will delete all the crevices from here okay so uh, these are the cre uh, crevices filler so you can transfer it a little bit to create a good uh, solution here so I think the 330 uh, default is much more better here. Now uh, this is the primary, uh, primary uh, crevices color. So what we can do is basically we can select some average uh, color from these crevices. So what I'm seeing that um, something like this color or this color, this, this will be much more better. So let's select this and uh, let's go here and uh, let's increase the mix a little bit okay so now you can see some here uh, you know filler and uh, there is also a secondary color which we can use uh, I think this could be a good judgment you know so let's increase it a little bit okay that's it so this will be our albedo okay and um, as always the light cancellation will desaturate the image a little bit so what you can do is basically give it a little bit of saturation like 1.5 okay so you can compare it with this diffuse so this was diffuse and uh, this is our albedo so I think the saturation is a little bit so 1.2 yeah it will be good okay diffuse yeah I think this is good <coughs> so now enable the timer and uh, press F12 and it will create a texture for you okay and uh, you will see it here okay so now disable the switch okay so we have already recorded the albedo in our albedo map here okay okay let's save it now let's go to the height part okay so let's go to point height and uh, enable the switch control shift and uh, let's wait for a moment and here it is it's already uh, much more better uh, but uh, let's see uh, if we can uh, do something else so contrast contrast is if you go here and the height map is uh, pretty much intensive so yeah so in contrast what we can do is basically we can you know uh, contrast it a little bit uh, so it will create the uh, you know the black and white values value contrast okay smoothness uh, smoothness uh, creates a you know smoothing displacement here so if you want uh, don't want to use it you can uh, disable it uh, but a little bit of five smoothness would be much more better yeah <coughs> and uh, let's go to the depth so the depth creates a cushioning okay so displacement map has a cushioning feature um, so let's see it yeah so the you know it will create a pillow effect um, what I think uh, the depth should be 0.5 or something like that for this image which is good yeah something like that will be good okay so the retain crevices the crevices are this detail tiny detail we had so if you want to increase it or decrease it you can do it here as well okay that's good uh, increase dark level it will increase the l uh, darkness 
something like that so we are using a 2k image here so if uh, uh, if it's uh, too much uh, you know uh, you could use um, uh, 1k image as well but uh, you know the compositor is kind of slow when it comes to blur and extreme level of detailing so yeah okay so I think uh, that would be good it will uh, the white will be high and the black will be down okay so yeah I think that is good let's do it like that okay and now we're going for a contrast neutralization it will try to neutralize the contrast we have here something like that okay so right click uh, control and right click to see if the values are all right uh, something like uh, the white values are something like 0.5 which is good and the dark values something like this should be zero yeah I think that is good yeah it should work pretty nicely the highest white level I think this one was the highest white level yeah 0.5 good okay so <coughs> let's save it and uh, let's press F12 to render it so it has been rendered so if you want to see it here you can go to the gamma and you will see the displacement here okay <coughs> to see the update here what we can do is basically we can hide press toggle uh, we can hide one of this layer or uh, you know yeah let's hide it and uh, let's see this guy go to the modifi modifier and press tap okay that will be updated here okay now you can see your stuff here press alt h to unhide it uh, I have not uh, you know uh, made it enable right now uh, we will see it later but uh, you know it will be pretty much loading so we are using the plane map first here to see if everything is all right I think this is good I know the level is good and everything is looking fine uh, yeah let's see it here from here uh, if, you, if the roughness is uh, you know disturbing it what we can do is basically we can create a node here and let's do a roughness here and uh, quite obviously the normal map is doing a problem so let's disable normal map here as well so the roughness should be one yeah something like that okay I think that looks good that looks good um, yeah okay so let's see it in alt H and <coughs> okay before everything else if you want to uh, if you want to update uh, the displacement what you can do is basically you can go to the uh, suppose I want some contrast a little bit of contrast here so you can do it here and press F12 uh, to render it okay press tab to update your values here so I think the contrast uh, was actually fine for this one so press 2 here uh, sorry it was press 3 yeah something like that press F12 to render A and press tab to see your effect here so if you want to create some more displacement you can do it from here so we are using 0 0.05 you can do 0 0.06 or 8 to see the effect yeah 0 0.08 looks good okay okay so let's disable the switch here disabling means you know it will not re-render the stuff again uh, if you want to ch uh, if you want to change the albedo as well what you can do is basically enable the switch here and uh, we can do some though it's everything is fine uh, to me uh, so if you want to use some light cancellation sort of like this yeah it will be do and uh, you can press F12 to read render eh? and uh, this will be updated here okay so let's go for severe situations like this yeah 
we have this press F12 to render it and it will be updated automatically okay you don't need to uh, only uh, for displacement only you need to press tab okay and other things are pretty much fine so press 1.2 something like that press F12 to render it and things are all fine so when everything is fine just disable the switch so it will not re-render again okay so that's how the workflow goes so now let's go to um, yeah let's uh, let's see it in this guy I'm going to enable everything here there we go yeah that's good okay uh, if you need to check it quite obviously you can do it from here rotation you can do it with here as well and uh, also if you want to see it in cycle you can do go here and uh, let's initialize it and you can see the updates here yeah looks good let's see this guy okay okay everything seems to be fine uh, now let's go and uh, let's start working with normal all right so we are in normal and uh, let's connect the normal map here there we go and now uh, we're going to work with it let's see enable the switch control shift and uh, it's already making it all right so let's go to here um, the depth depth is uh, you know the cross tessellation so if you go here you can see what it is doing okay so press F12 to render it and let's see if everything is all right or fine or I you know we need to do things like that um, yeah let's go to the tangent press uh, space one and uh, let's see things yeah that looks good although we have the height map so <coughs> the normal map is not it will not affect it too much but it looks good we have everything here yeah uh, so uh, anyway uh, I was uh, talking to myself so this is the height and diffuse mixer what you can do is basically you can mix it mix the diffuse with height okay so something like that you know so there will be some detail but you know this one looks pretty fine uh, so we don't need uh, those setup diffuse detail threshold so d detail threshold is uh, if you act, uh, if you enable the diffuse mixer it will you know you can uh, check for some we got extreme yeah some of that uh, some diffuse detail will be retained but uh, let's not use that here we don't need that so detail blur you can blur the detail a little bit if you want to but it is not actually needed too much here as well so let's use it yeah something like that would be much more better I think yeah so if you want to see it press F12 there we go and you can see it here you know yeah okay uh, and the multiplier is multiplied value uh, don't go too much <laughs> okay uh, just to demonstrate the thing uh, press F12 to see it in action yeah you can see the changes but uh, don't go too much 0.5 is much more better for this press F12 there we go I think it is much more beautiful it is coming beautifully so I think this is good okay so things are done so you know the drill just disable the switch 
and save it and here we go so this is the normal done so now we're going for uh, next what next roughness okay all right so let's do the roughness Z to double of overlay here we go and uh, yeah <coughs> enable the switch control shift so already there uh, what we need to do is basically we need to discuss things so first thing roughness is actually the most important part in uh, PBR texturing so take good care of it uh, there are some values you can see the base rough what it does is basically we're going for press M and actually before everything else go to the black level and uh, select a black level from your image okay the highest black level you have uh, I think this is the black level we have so let's go here and uh, select this black level here and uh, let's go for a white level the highest white level you have in your image so I think this is the white level we have so let's select it there we go now press uh, M and <coughs> now what we're going for is basically a base mix so the base mix is basically the value okay so for a stone um, the value should be something like 0.8 or something so let's go for 0.8 and uh, let's disable the contrast let's zero or uh, let's contrast one here we go and uh, right click and uh, hover around your image to see if the average is something like close to 0.7 or 0.8 and what I'm seeing the balance is 0 0.6 0 0.7 and 0.8 okay so yeah let's increase the whiteness a little bit let's see it here okay press F12 to see the roughness here okay and connect the roughness quite obviously there we go and let's see if the roughness is good or not hmm. yeah the roughness is actually really good <laughs> okay so uh, if you want to create some weight a little bit of weight you can do it like this yeah 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.5 0 0.6 okay so 0.6 let's see press F12 to see it in action yeah a little bit of weight which is good actually yeah a little bit of wet which is good uh, we can do some contrast uh, we can do some contrast like this to create some detail here to the black level here so press F12 yeah you know in game we used to make uh, stones a little bit of contrast if you want to do it like that but uh, for VFX it should be you know real values something like 1.1 with a base mix of uh, maybe a little bit of something like that okay if you want to see uh, your image scope you can do it from here as well so this is the waveform and this is the level we have the crushed level here so if you have something like 0.8 to 0.5 so this is the 0.5 here so yeah I think that is good let's do it like that or just something like that okay so press F12 to see it in action there you go yeah I think this is good yeah yeah 
Hmm. So the bar, quite obviously, if you don't want to use it, just zero it and let's see. Yeah, looks interesting. Okay, let's not use blur. I think it is coming good. <coughs> okay, <coughs> so that's it. I think. Um, yeah. So disable the switch, and here is your roughness. Okay. So now let's go to metallic. Okay. So let's talk about the metallic here. So I'm going here. Enable the switch. So metallic is uh, pretty much straightforward. So connect the metal. Uh, version here okay and uh, um, um, the base color uh, so uh, a non-metal is always black uh, metal is always white so uh, we're using a non-metal so it is black and press F12 to create the metallic texture here and uh, let's update it here okay the timer there we go okay uh, so if it's a uh, non-metal uh, just use white press F12 to create the metal version here you will see the metal here I think the displacement is super high so let's go here in the modifier I'm going for 0 0.0 something like 6 here. okay that is good okay um but we have uh, non-metal so let's go F12 and this will be our non metal so what if uh, we need uh, something else uh, something like if I hide this guy the sphere and press 7 uh, suppose this is the metal and uh, everything uh, other things are all non metal so what we can do is basically we can paint a mask so how can we do it let's go to the shadow editor and uh, let's create an image I'm going for an image texture I'm going to create a new I'm going for a metal mask um yeah this will be into 2k and uh, here we go and now well, we need a mix rgb it should be at top <coughs> and there we go and uh, these base color it should be at bottom press ctrl shift to view it directly here okay in the viewport so now let's uh, go to the texture paint slot so we can go for our texture paint there we go press T N and uh, let's go to the tool and this is your metal mask so what we can do is basically we can uh, flat fill the color here there we go flat fill the color uh, so it is a uh, non-metal uh, so we can do a flat fill with black first then go to the white go to the texture draw and we can draw some uh, metal mask here okay something like that hey you can go for strength. actually it is full strength so here we go so if you want to see it properly you can see it like this okay so this is our mask okay suppose this is our mask so what we can do is now basically we can save the image here so it should be a metal mask there we go uh, yeah, we can save it as image save as uh, image save as and uh, we can give it a name metal mask okay so now it is there so what you can do is basically now let's go to the image texture or image and go for metal mask now instead of this base color we're going to use this mask paint okay and uh, press 1 to create the main shadow so press going to shift here so um, let's go to the object mode now we don't need that yeah NT. there we go so we are using now we are using the metal mask instead so to see it uh, press F12 there we go everything is done and you can see it is now uh, full metal okay so that's how you can work with it as well but we don't need that we just need this so yeah there we go press F12 
and that should be yeah press alt h turn height our setup there we go okay so that's how you can work with it okay now let's go for AO and uh, disable the switch yeah and enable AO and come back yeah I I saw that uh, I had uh, uh, messed up with the displacement uh, so this timer button is very much important whenever you are working with this thing you need to enable this timer okay otherwise uh, it can mess up your uh, you know project so uh, anyway so let's talk about the AO here <coughs> uh, so I have uh, retained the displacement again so yeah this is point zero seven here yeah not looks good okay uh, so we are back in action so let's go to the um, this guy uh, the ambient occlusion and ambient occlusion uh, there are several things number one is and there is a normal map blend okay so if you disable this guy it will uh, disable the normal map as well so if you enable a normal map blend uh, you will get some normal map uh, filter here as well so which is good another one is radius the radius is basically um, the pillows okay the pillows the curvatures so uh, what you can do uh, is basically you can press shift to find control the radius AO and height map is a little bit uh, sluggy because it takes lots of calculation so you can see the difference here okay so I think that is good and uh, the threshold threshold is the white and uh, black balance so if we go like crazy yeah so this is actually the curvature map so we're going to talk about it a little so maybe the threshold should be I know something like 6.3 yeah I think this is uh, this is good okay so let's press F12 <coughs> okay and uh, to see the uh, ambient occlusion you will need this mix here okay to see it in action there you go okay so it is and let me see yeah so 5.6 and 5.8 seems to be working pretty much fine here so uh, let's finalize it, finalize it in F12 and uh, hopefully that will work fine yeah yeah okay so uh, let's switch it and here we go hmm. let's save it now let's go to cavity and uh, let's switch it and let's see how much uh, should we need the intensity it will create the cavity for you I think that will give us a very good detail. Let's see. Let's see. Press F12. And uh, let's go to the factor. Yeah, it will give us a very good detail here. Nice detail. Okay. Let's use it like that. Pretty good. Okay. Done. Switch visible the switch and uh, that's it and the curvature if you want to use it you can use it if you switch it enable and uh, this is the curvature but uh, I have not played with it yet so yeah if you want to just render it press F12 and render it okay done 
So this is our final look. I think the curvature is really dark. Let me let me disable this guy. Let me enable this guy. Shift. I think it is really dark. Let's do it something like this. Yeah. Press F12. Yeah. There we go. I think this is good. Okay. So that's it. Press switch all done save it <coughs> so now <coughs> let's see uh, our setup here um if we go to the, our project here you will find them in texture here we go so this is the AO cavity curvature diffuse height metallic metal mask normal roughness and albedo okay so that's it and uh, yeah if you want to see it in a preview quite obviously you can do it from here rotation ah, you can do it like this press zero to have a full rotation here okay and uh, also if you want to render a thumbnail control s save uncheck use notes and uh, you can uh, disable the timer here as well let's do it like that now we can just render it. Press um, let's go to cycle. Quite obviously, other things are, are pretty much you know uh, just uh, go to the world and uh, give it some uh, HDRI and etc. etc. and uh, do that stuff like that. Okay, press F12 to render and let's see a render. Yeah, sorry, it should be in render results. There we go. Okay. So you can do it like that. Uh, we can go for a render preview of 16 tables and press F12 to render it. So here it is. I'm using eight samples. Um, by the way, I'm using a uh, AAA. Okay, uh, you know, um, square samples. Okay, so 64 as well as so here it is. And uh, now let's go to the viewport and let's see how it looks like in different lighting conditions something like that okay that's it okay so thanks for watching i'm father simple from city virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye